former public protector Busisiwe Mkobane has lost her bid to be granted a 10 million rand payout. Judge Muki ruled that there is a difference between vacating the office of her own volition and being removed. I agree with the respondent that a gratuity is a token of appreciation as expressed by an employer towards an employee. This view has a bearing on the expression on vacation of office. That is because Clause 3.1 links the payment of a gratuity to vacation of office. It would be absurd for an employer to be expected to pay a gratuity, being a token of appreciation, to an employee who left office in disgrace. Additionally, the court found that there has been no breach of the constitution in the refusal to pay Mkwabane. She did not elaborate as to which provision of the constitution has either been breached, misapplied or misinterpreted. A court cannot give declaratory relief in terms of section 172 sub 1 sub a or non-specific assertions that there are breaches of the Constitution. I conclude that the applicant failed to lay a basis for the court to exercise its Section 172 sub 1 sub A power. The Gauteng High Court also dismissed Mkwabane's bid to have the public protector's decision reviewed on the basis that it was procedurally or administratively unjust. The applicant did not cite any law for her claim that a gratuity is included in the concept remuneration generally or that a gratuity forms part of her remuneration specifically. The applicant's remuneration does not include payment of a gratuity. The BCA defines remuneration. She was paid remuneration as defined. The BCA does not mention gratuity. The public protector respondents did not breach the basic conditions of employment act in not paying the applicant a gratuity. Her legality challenge with reference to the BCA must fail. Mkwabane was ordered to pay the cost of councils for the public protector's office and the speaker of parliament, who was also a respondent in the application. Zara Grunewald. SABC News, Pretoria.